Hey guys, so today, oh my gosh, I've just done a workout. I'm so tired. Oh, look at this plain black background. It's actually a gray. I painted it. I want to do some artwork and some pictures and some stuff that I want to do. Um, yes, my workout was crazy. I did show on tea the recovery insanity. I'm dying. I seen all the textures in my house. Look at this texture. Yes. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy because I did not want to do this workout. Yesterday I got a headache. I was painting and the fumes I think got in my system. I got a bit of a headache. So then I woke up feeling a bit drowsy, like my head and I was feeling, so I had so many excuses. Like I was like, Ugh. Then I said working out late and I'm supposed to be done by seven so that I can have breakfast and be sitting at my desk by eight. So it was already coming to seven. And I was like, I don't have time for workout, but I said, I'm going to do it. <sighs> Another thing I've kind of said that I knew Actually, it's not new. I've gone back to an old eating routine. I used to do low carb, high fat, and then I started introducing a carb back. I've been trying to do something called carb cycling, but once you test the carb, the bread, the cassava, the gonja, you just can't go back. So I'm back to low carb because my waistline was really growing. Like I've become faster, I've become stronger. Like my, if you see my legs, they have become more toned, but my midsection is growing. So it's like, chic. Can we get more serious? <laughs> now I'm looking a bit weird with a small down and a, you know. So I'm like, no, let's get back to right to 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 food that helped me. You know, it's so funny how you how you can do. You know what to do, but you don't do what you need to do. You get that? I don't know. If you get that? Anyway. Just done with my workout, so I'm gonna eat something. Uh, oh my gosh, it's so dark in here. I'm so scared to open my doors and the light. So I'm so scared to open my doors because my neighbors bought two chicken. We live in a rental, we live in rentals like apartments, and you hear them? She bought two chickens, they walked into my kitchen yesterday and pooped on my kitchen floor and I had something when I was in the office I was like what's that noise and then I come back and there's poop all over the floor and it's nasty and stinky and wet really wet chicken stay hydrated that's all I'm going to say chicken stay hydrated anyway so much to do today so I'm trying to um I'm not trying I'm sewing my own clothes. Um, so last weekend I went for a wedding, wore my own dress. So this weekend I'm going for another wedding and I'm trying to make like a jumpsuit kind of thing. So these are the pieces, I've cut them out. Just need to sew them together. So then I got two stands and put a, a thing up there so that I could have like a, a on top kind of tutorial so you can see when it's up here, this is kind of what you're seeing, kind of, but it's more like 90 degrees. I tried Googling, like, how can I get like a 90 degree? And everyone was telling me to buy equipment or make some kind of like crane to hold up my camera or buy a microphone stand, like all kinds of things. And I was like, you guys has to be another way so i realized that i already had these backdrop stands and the backdrop bagels and i was like and my camera is very light it's an a sony alpha and i have those wool things that those tripods that wrap around my mind just said calculate Brrr. next thing i created something and it's stable i built this table with my husband i built the the frame and then by then I had to go back to Sweden to, to school and so he finished the, the top. But I want to sand it down. He tried sanding it but we didn't have a, a sander so he was sanding with his hands. Which I have to give him props for. But I want to sand it down so that it's like... Because now it's like a bit roughish. Yeah. My knife is going to be really smooth. So I have a lot to do. I have to pack for him. Not that he can't pack for himself. 
<laughs> just that he likes doing last minute stuff and I don't like last minute stuff. So he's traveling in two days. So I told him, you know what, pick whatever suitcase you're going with and I pack for you because I have to take that airport and if I have to sit in a car and wait for you to finish packing, I'm going to scream. So I took matters into my own hands and told him to pick out the suitcase he's taking and then I, I pick out his clothes and whatever he needs to move in. <sighs> okay, so I have a lot to do. Let me check in my planner. So go to write down your things. Very good, like it helps you focus, but even better, it's good to follow it. So morning, I have to, mornings I work on my design projects as an architect. This is my, I don't show you my desk, it's a mess. <laughs> I don't want you to think different. I have to tell you how organized I am. I said I'm still building all my shelving and stuff, so it takes some time. So everything is all over the place. But morning, I have two projects I want to finish. Um, I want to finish my clothing, and then I'm trying to find contacts um, for suppliers. There are certain projects I'm doing, and I need suppliers for digital printing and on, fab on fabric and all. So. That's where I'm at. <laughs> That's where I'm at. Trying to do all these things. Um, oh, by the way, I have a, a I have an account on a website called Spoon Flower, where I do. Um, I'll put in the link below. I do uh, patterns. Yeah, so go check out my store. See if you like my patterns. They're really simple, but like I get nature around me like in uganda and the plants and then i kind of create um more abstract kind of designs from them so check that out i so i have two patterns it's kind of harder for us who are here to sell on spoon flower because like you have to first have a swatch thing sent to you and anyway it's on the postal system is okay, but it's a bit slower than in Sweden. Sweden, it was like, if I got something on postal, the maximum it would take was four days. Here, four working days. Here, it takes actually four days. Those guys work on Saturday and Sunday. Here, I'll get it like the next week in two weeks. So to move things a bit, it's a bit funnier. Anyway, um, if you know some, some suppliers who do digital printing on fabric, Hit me up in the comment section tell me and uh yeah so it's 7 30 i'm a bit behind time look at those chickens let me show them to you i told the maid next door like if your boss does not get rid of those chickens i'm going to do something about it i'll just open the gate and let them wander out I know it's like, hey Linda, why would you do that? It's mean, blah, blah, blah. Look, you know the one who had to clean poo off the floor. Let me close that door. Because <laughs> they like entering. And then I have to sit in darkness in my house because I... Oh, I'll just poke one head and cook it. Okay. All that to say, let's have a good day. Uh, let's see what I'm able to achieve today. I have to do two designs. I have to work on my outfit. Hopefully I can finish it today. I don't want to rush it. I don't want it to look shady. And keep chatting with some suppliers. So those are the three things I have to do. Oh, and I have to paint. Um, that's the fourth thing I have to paint. Yes, I have to paint. I paint every day so that I can... Because I have to paint like a quarter day. Oh, let me show you this, what I'm painting. <laughs> look at me. Look at me, I'm making some, um, I'm making a what? Yeah, so I painted the top. So now I'm going to flip it and paint the sides. It's a bookshelf. My apartment is coming together. Right now all my books are all over the place. <laughs> Let me show you my mess. My books are all over the place. So when I'm done with the bookshelf and I put it there, Next thing is to do the chairs. Paint the chairs and put the cushions. I know it's like, it sounds so easy. Oh my God, just paint the chairs and put the cushions. It's not easy. 
One paint is expensive. I have to close this door because it's chickens. One. What are you saying? Yes. Paint is expensive. Two, it's really manual work because I have to sand down these chairs, like how I did the thingy, and I have to make the cushions. So I have to go buy foam. I already bought the material, so I have to buy foam. The material is really beautiful. It's like a sky blue. I'll show it to you when I'm done. Yes, and I'm still trying to build because I put like a feature wall, but it didn't line up up. But anyway, that's the beauty about using natural products. They will never satisfy you. So there's that car line up there. You see it? It's not there's nothing I can do. It's just how it was. You see, look down, I lined it up, but up it didn't line up. And so still building. See, it's a plain wall. So slowly I'm going to keep adding stuff and really build it up. Since I got married, like I never put up pictures, like our wedding pictures, which I'm going to do. I'm going to put like a feature wall here. It's kind of contrast with like a mirror and a side table. Slowly building. Oh, my newest obsession with YouTube channel is DIY creators. Glenn. Glenn, you are amazing. Like I watch you and I'm like, you are my kind of guy. Like we think you... The only difference is that you're actually doing the stuff. I'm trying. But my skill level is low. But then I watched older videos of his, like, boy, as of 2012. And I could see where he has come from. Like, he also started out really basic and he has really built up his skill level. And his, level, his machines are so many. So I want to do that. Okay. Let me go. I want to have breakfast first because after this workout, I am starving. And then I'm going to shower. Is that a good combination? I don't know. I need to wash my face first. Oh, something that I've been doing. If you've noticed, my skin is clearing a lot. Like, I haven't been getting breakouts. And my... So I'm now really working on the scarring that I got from the former thingy. And the scarring is pretty much... Can you see this? Yeah. The scarring is pretty much fading away. Because I'm doing like ex, using an exfoliating brush. Mm. So I did something that I saw on Tia Mori Quick Fix, where she did uh, green tea ice cubes. See how many I've been using? It's so amazing. And what it does, I'm realizing, is that it closes your pores. It like, so after you've finished washing your face and whatever cleanser you're using, it kind of closes your pores, so it, it reduces chances of dirt getting in or bacteria. I'm using um, the soap. I'm not putting any moisturizer or anything. I think some Africans are like, Linda, you're going to age badly. Look. I'm using Ausa. The, the thing has peeled a bit, but can you see that? Aisu. I'll put the details down. So I'm using Aisu. And so even when I'm using my exfoliating brush, this thing, is it called a cleansing brush? Exfoliating brush? I don't know. So when I'm using it, I also use that same soap. So I don't have all these things. Like my sis gave me some uh cleanser and toner and i'm just like you know what i don't it has to be a simpler way of living this is too hard and a, and a more affordable way because things like uh, seeing her clinic and what it's really expensive and yet that is like twenty five thousand shillings which is even less than it's even less than ten dollars less than less than a hundred krona anyway and it's working like my skin i don't know if you can see this some black wall was nice had a nice view can you see okay can you see past the sweat <laughs> i've got much of the sweat but can you see like these are natural marks so don't these are natural pigmentation which i don't mind i don't like that stuff of removing your natural spots like be free <laughs> but these ones like these ones 
then on my forehead you really have to come in because they're really fading off because naturally your skin sheds off so it will shed off that dead skin and with time if you just be patient with time it goes so i've really been liking the 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 ice cubes like they're really helping but also the soap is really clearing and because i'm super oily by the time i leave the house i don't put any moisturizer and i'm already glowing like i'm excreting so much oil okay i gotta go have a nice day